and a tiny sign. What in the world is up with that? <laughs> I told you to stay away! Oh my god! <laughs> what are those? All right, guys, today I am in Asheville, North Carolina, and I came all this way just to go to this Spirit Halloween back here that has the smallest sign I've ever seen. Look at that little tiny thing. What in the living world is going on with that? I am definitely gonna have to Photoshop a bigger sign in there for the thumbnail. All right, that was one seriously long, tiring drive, but I'm excited to go in the Spirit Halloween and see what kind of awesomeness they have. We're nearing the end of the season, so it's anybody's guess what we will see in here. They actually appear to still be pretty packed, but I don't see any animatronics yet. So let's make our way around the store here, see if we can discover anything totally awesome. And yikers, this is the smallest Spirit Halloween I have ever been in, guys. Let's venture back here and look in every crack and crevice to see if there are any. Ooh, I thought that was some animatronics, but it's not. It's a billion astronaut helmets. <laughs> Let's keep on moving here. Every corner, every crack and crevice. See what we can find. I don't see any animatronics, guys. I don't think I've ever been in a Spirit Halloween that didn't have at least one. Amazing, this is definitely a first, but we're gonna look at all the other awesome stuff. Starting with Michael Myers. I really like this mask. This is the 2018 mask. I don't see a Halloween Kills mask, although it might be somewhere else in the store, but here's the original. Let's just compare these two. I love the original movie, but honestly, I kind of like this mask better. But here is Halloween 2. That one's really not too bad, but in the movie, it looks horrible. I like this Michael Myers shirt. The Boogeyman, it says. Ooh, and I love these socks. I don't know if I've seen these socks in any other store. I actually bought these. I don't know if I've worn them yet, but I have them. And uh, these I haven't seen in any other store, though. Those are pretty cool. This shirt, I don't know. I do like it. However, I wish it was like fall colors surrounding him. That would be much better. Then right beside Michael Myers, we have Pennywise. This is actually a pretty cool mask, even though it's just the thin plastic one. I don't see any others, though. But again, there's a whole mask section. So we have the new Pennywise, the Chick It, and the old Pennywise up here. Ooh, we have some Adams Family costumes here. And then right beside that, we have all the Sam stuff. Now, here's the light up lollipop. Let's see if it works. Yeah, look at that. That is pretty cool. But the one thing everybody keeps telling me to find is his candy bar that you open up and it has a razor in it. And I haven't seen that anywhere yet. Now, this is cool. We got a whole bunch of Chucky outfits here. And this is a pretty cool mask, actually. I like this mask. Um, we got the awesome hammer. And look at this. We got a knife that I am not sure I've seen in other stores. I think this is pretty cool. Hello, rats. Oh, look, they have the same lollipops that you can actually eat. I haven't seen these in a lot of stores. I think these sell out pretty quickly. Look at this. On the other side here, they have more Chucky stuff. And look, another knife that I don't think I've seen anywhere else. This one's called the Voodoo Knife. It's only $7.99. That is a pretty cool Chucky knife. Now here's the bleeding ghost face machete, which is kind of strange because I don't recall him ever using a machete in the movies. But look at that. That one works really good. The blood drains if you hold it like this. And then when you put it like this, it drains back in. That is actually working pretty cool. That's probably the best one I've seen of those. Look at this. This is a light up ghost face knife. It's not, probably needs batteries, but you push the button here and the blade lights up. That is pretty sweet. Oh, look over here. They have the baby head on a stick. This is the weirdest walking stick I've ever seen in my life. And he's one-eyed. He must have read the map wrong with his one eye. So here's all these astronaut suits. I'm seeing a ton of these in the store this year. And I think somebody told me that the deal with these is that they're probably pretty popular because of Among Us. 
but I don't know for sure. Is Among Us a game? I'm like out of touch. <laughs> I'm like way out in space on these things. All right, here is their mask section. Let's check this out and see what all they have. Look at this. I think I've looked at this before. It's called Seeing Double. She has two sets of eyes. It's one of those digita, uh, digit eyes skull mask. You press the button and their eyes are kind of like the, uh, okay, well, it's not working. But it's, oh, here it is, yeah. Are they going to move? Yeah, there they go a little bit. Do you have to move the mask? Very strange. <laughs> kind of reminds me of Grimm, or at least the workers. Okay. Look, this one's called El Wire Doom Mask. Oh, that's pretty cool. That would look awesome in the dark. If you can't see it, those wires are flashing. That is awesome. Okay, I don't see any more uh, Michael Myers masks or Pennywise. That's kind of what I was looking for over here. I thought that was Pennywise for a minute, but it's not. It's better than Pennywise, though. It's Crouchy. Look at that. How cool is it? Look at those teeth. He needs some serious Aquafresh. And look at this one over here. His name is Smiley. I don't know if we've looked at him before. Oh, wow. That's, that's really thick, actually. Usually the rubber on these is really soft and pliable, like on this. But this one is really, really thick. That's a good mask. I wouldn't want to wake up and see this guy staring at me at the end of my bed. You can go right back to your home, Mr. Smiley. Oh, and here's the vintage ape mask. And then down here they have, well, let's see, they have the vintage werewolf and this, the vintage clown mask. I bought the vintage clown doll, if you guys remember, or maybe I haven't even shown that to you yet. I don't know. But uh, he is actually pretty cool. He's like the least evil thing in this entire store. Oh, and here's Nighty Knight. Let's see if his, yes, his jaw actually works in this store. Hello, Nighty Knight. Hello. This one cracks me up. Look, it's called Sweet Doll Mask. But what is sweet about that? Holy crap, look behind it, guys. We have a vintage vampire mask. I don't think I've seen that in any stores. That is awesome. And what in the world is this Botox disaster? Let's leave some stickers in Marshmallow's trick-or-treat bucket. Oh, yes, you gotta love the Halloween sound machine. <laughs> Creaky door, I think. Mr. Howell. That really would be so cool if they had one of these Halloween sound machines that had, like, buttons for different people's, uh, different animatronic sounds, like hugs and Mr. Howl and stuff like that. That would be awesome. Here's a witch hat. <laughs> okay. Spooky music. What's this, an owl? That was an owl? Okay, that's... Not any owl I know of. A ghost. And what's this one? <laughs> Crazy laugh. Okay, there you go, Halloween sound machine. Okay, we have some purge masks here. This kind of reminds me of Squid Game, actually. Which is, I don't know, I can't decide if I like Squid Game or not. It's kind of stupid. But I've made it through, like, I don't know, four episodes or something so far. Butcher Knife. Meat Cleaver. Machete. This one cracks me up. The Evil Medical Tools. Like, if you want to be an evil doctor and actually kill your patients for Halloween. <laughs> what in the world? Look, you can either be the bag of Flaming Hot Cheetos or the Cheeto itself. Oh, here's more Purge stuff on this side. Look at this. You gotta love old Abe. Okay, let's come over here and look at these clown weapons for a minute, because these are actually pretty cool. First is this awesome knife here. Look, it's like an upside-down, deadly, smiley face. We got the... Oh, it's a bleeding uh, machete with clown dots on it. That works pretty good. All right, and we got the striped handle on there. But this is my favorite right here. Look at the teeth on that thing. Clown Cleaver is what it's called. Look at that thing, man. I think if I could have one weapon from this whole store, it would be this. What in the world? A candy cane axe? Uh, oh, it's a tiny. All right, hold on. Let's try it. 
Oh crap, I wanted to see that light up. Look, it's got Christmas tree lights twisted all the way up and then it has the big Christmas tree lights here. I don't see the inflatable Patrick, but I do see inflatable SpongeBob and I'm thinking somebody on my Facebook group posted a picture of them dressed up like Patrick and SpongeBob. Excuse me, sir, could you not poop right here? Okay, so I love the inflatable Garfield. I love the inflatable Porky Pig. I love, love the inflatable Gizmo. But I think if I were going to get one of the inflatables, it would be this balloon animal. I've showed you this guys in several other videos, and I love it so much. Look at how shiny it is. That is cool, and it reminds me of Nightmare, or what is it called? Night at the Museum. Nightmare at the Museum. <laughs> However, I also love the inflatable dinosaur and the inflatable Snoopy. That one is pretty cool. Oh man, I could totally go for some cookies and milk right now. Lots of Ghostbusters costumes and stuff, including the inflatable Stay Puffed, which is also one of my favorites. Look at this, it's a Monsters Inc. purse trick or treat bag or something. It says Scarer of the Month, that is cool. Oh, look at this, guys. It is a Gremlins decal, a gizmo decal. I would love to put that on my car. All right, let's make our way back over here. Oh, this is cool. I don't think I've seen this before. I've seen the suit that's all pumpkins. Whoops, I'm about to drop it. This one is called Bloody Skulls Suit, though. Look at that. That is pretty cool. I haven't spent a lot of time looking at the vampire stuff, but if you wanted to dress like a vampire, they got some pretty cool outfits here. Look at this one right here, Victorian Vampirus. That is pretty awesome. This is another Victorian vampire. This one kind of reminds me of Panic at the Disco. But look at this, the accessories are pretty cool themselves. They got lots of uh, top hats. This one almost looks like it's lace. And then we got the vampire goblet. Vampire blood. Oh, look at this. The armor ring. That reminds me of Freddy Krueger. Look at that. You put your finger right in there and it bends with it just like Freddy's claw. And we get these fangs down here. I love these because they actually look real. And speaking of Freddy's claw, they have a couple of different kinds here. This is the one I would buy if I were looking at this one or this one. But this one has like the bendable claws on it so nobody could actually get hurt. This reminds me of My Chemical Romance if it were black. Welcome to the Black Parade. Here's a Jason mask I haven't seen in a lot of stores. I've seen this one down here in several stores. And then there's just like the, uh, the other one that's kind of soft and pliable. But this one here... I have not seen in a lot of stores. Pretty cool. This is only 17 bucks, and there's a lot of people on YouTube who take these and then they make them look exactly like the masks that were used in the movie. They do a really good job too, pretty cool. There's also this one, which is only like six bucks. If you wanted to get one just to play around with, that wouldn't cost as much as the other. But it would be pretty easy to get the paints just to make this one look like this one at least. And then you could dirty it up and put like a blade cut in the top and stuff. Look at this guys, it says squishy mouse. I seriously thought it said squishy moose for a minute. Holy crap, those are squishy. Reminds me of the baby head in the other store. All right, here's a couple of cats that appear to need some stickers. There you go. All right, guys, that is about it for Asheville, North Carolina. They had a lot of costumes and stuff in there that were packed with that stuff, but amazingly, no animatronics whatsoever. And a tiny sign. What in the world is up with that? <laughs> I told you to stay away! Oh my god! <laughs> what are those?